Good morning once again, Joe with his Twitter roofing. Where I'm going to show you a video of a tear off. This is a re roof, a tile re roof that we're going to be doing here in the beautiful city of Kendall. And I'm going to show you a few steps that we've done here so far. Uh, this underlayment that you see in here is a shark skin. This is a full synthetic underlayment which is will not rot with the years like your normally average uh, felt underlayment like you see here your 30 pound and now uh, we're going to use that 30 pound underneath the shark skin on the valleys just to reinforce it a little bit but the whole entire roof is going to have a shark shark skin ultra base underlayment and then a self adhere shark skin towel underlayment We have the tear off crew here today. Okay, basically what we did here was tear off the entire flat tile tile roof. And as you can see, all the tiles were here with foam. So we were able to carefully remove the tiles and uh, strip out the, uh, the foam underneath the tile without tearing up the underlayment. Uh, it's a good way, it's basically how we do most of our tear-offs, tile tear-offs. You see the uh, tear-off crew there. We tore it all off last week. We came back this morning to tear off the underlayment. And to see in the condition that your decking is in. This is all tongue and groove, one by eight and one by six in some areas. This flat roof is still in good shape, so what we're gonna do is pressure clean it, uh, repair some air bubbles that it's got, and we're gonna do a uh, waterproofing, white coating, uh, surface coat on top. I'll take more video later on during the day once it's all it's all tore off and cleaned up. So we can take a look at that shark skin base. And uh, you can see how that goes down. At this point anything that's rotted any of the uh, tongue and groove like you see here it's not rotted but it's cracked it's broken it's going to get replaced most of the time as we're doing a tear off we'll go ahead and check out your your straps on your trusses to make sure everything is up to code in some cases, some need to have a few nails installed in them, so we go ahead and do that. In some cases, we have to have our engineer uh, design a proper strap due to their calculations of what needs to be put on these trusses. Okay, there you have it. I'll come back and shoot more footage uh, in different steps so you can see the uh, beginning through the whole process 
to we did the finished product so you can take a look at it. Have a great day and thanks for watching.